Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to go in and create some uh, materials for this scene. They're not going to be anything fancy, just something enough to be able to add um, some color. Sometimes the node doesn't want to copy over. Um, if that happens, you can delete the material palette there and go to New, Pane, and Tab Type. And I'm going to go to Material Palette. Once I've done that, I can scroll down to the clay material and I should be able to drag some in. So I'm going to um, take this. Wow, it really doesn't like me. Let's try that again and bring in one more clay. And last one, yay, we got it working here. And I'm going to make kind of like a light um, mid-tone and a dark color. Um, so, light, mid, and dark. So with the light color on the base color, um, kind of going to get into this range and really get this kind of really light color like that. Then in the mid-tone, maybe I can go in, start with something like that too. That kind of push that mid-tone color. So that is quite different from one another. And and this last one, I'm going to kind of push it even more to create kind of like an espresso color, almost black, but it's a really dark brown. So that is great. So now I can go in and start shading things. Um, I can drop them in individually on each object right there. But what I want to do is switch over back to object mode. And in here, I am going to go back into the Tiki Hut. And I got a lot of stuff going down here. Um, so all these over here are the bamboo poles. So I'm going to create a merge node before our other merge node. And Really, I want all of these to come in and connect to that merge node before we merge them in. That way I can just assign one material to all of these. Um, so I can go into create a material. And this material, I am going to go to my picker here in the shops. And let's say I want to do the light material. So that works there. And then on this side, um, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope, that one I want to have different, probably. Yeah, so let's take all of those and merge them together, not that one. So I'm going to create a merge node. And connect them there. And then of those we're going to add a material and this material is going to be the mid-tone there you go that looks nice uh, maybe the top we want to add a mid-tone so I'm going to take this like the little roof section and move it there Bring this here 
and I'm going to try to merge this in here. Go and connect that in. Uh, something happened. Oh, I'm missing one here. There we go. That looks better. We got all those in the mid-tone, and we're connecting that there. That looks okay. And then maybe um, this one will make it the espresso color. So I'm going to create a material here. And this material, I'm going to create the dark except and it gives us kind of a start there uh, and let's take this and let's do a quick um, render so that we can see kind of where we're progressing right now and I'll pause the video and um, bring you back when it's done Okay, so this is looking relatively okay. Um, there's some tweaks and things that we can make, but I think that is good for us now. Um, I'm liking the way it's looking. Um, maybe we can throw in a ground plane in there, um, just so that we can render it and see kind of the shadows coming on the ground and things like that. Um, but it's not too much to worry about right now. Um, in the next lesson, I want to kind of take you guys into making a little tool so that we can adjust this and make different tiki huts based off of this one. So that's kind of the power of what we've been doing so far with creating um, this procedural modeling workflow is that once we have this one done, uh, we should be able to easily make more of these. So, um, yeah, that's what we'll do in the next lesson. Um, like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you guys in the next lesson.